You've wished upon it all year. And now, it's finally here. The Mercedes-Benz Summer Event is back with incredible offers on the Mercedes-Benz you've always longed for. But hurry, these shooting stars fly by fast. It's the C300 for $379 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Right now, we need our heroes to defend, fighters to fight, and pancakes to eat. Denny's Red, White, and Blue Slam is here, and so is Independence Day Resurgence. Denny's, welcome to America's Diner in theaters June 24th. All right, a woman named Shauna loved her job of 16 years, but the single mother of two knew that she'd hit the glass ceiling without a college degree. So she went back to school, even though that meant sacrificing a lot of things, like her own car and her home. So Arizona's Family Surprise Squad teamed up with some great organizations to give this incredible mom a much-needed surprise. Helping Hands is a nonprofit organization. We're a scholarship program that serves 70 women that are going through school. And there is one specific client that stands out to me. She has a need and she is beyond deserving. And I thought, what better than to bring you guys aboard and surprise her? I can't wait. All right, she should be here any minute. Let's go. Oh, wonderful. You mentioned one of the things that you loved about this organization is that they understood what it means to be a single mom. What are some of those struggles? I got divorced. I knew I had to choose one or the other. I had to either work or go to school. So I gave it all up to go back to school. I was just looking online and looking online and I found it and I was like, this is actually perfect for me. It's for single moms. That's me. <laughs> Talk about some of the struggles now. You're, you're doing this all on your own. It's all on my shoulders, everything. Taking them to school, picking them up, helping with their homework when I have homework, when I have, you know, other, you know, bills. I'm lucky I have a lot of people in my life who help me because I couldn't do it myself. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I live in my parents' house. I don't have a vehicle, so my dad helps me with that. My friends will, you know, they'll do, they'll help me with various different things for my kids. The free people's schedules that you're juggling, plus school. Oh gosh, yeah. And to not have transportation? Yeah, 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 it's hard. Are you Shauna? Yes, I am. Shauna? Yeah? We have a great surprise for you. Surprise! Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Are you kidding, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Is this real? Is this real? Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> On behalf of NARPRO, the neighborhood auto professionals here in Phoenix and the region, we're giving you this car. Whoa. We hope it's a blessing for you. Oh my God. You're joking, Come, right? No, it's not a joke. Oh my God. This is yours. Whoa. This is not a joke. joke. <laughs> get in, try it out. Open the door, get in, start it up, turn on the air conditioning. It's AC. I'm sorry it doesn't come with Kleenex. Oh but my God. It comes with AC. <laughs> we have a car. Oh my God. I'm shaking, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm shaking, I can't even get it started. Oh my god, oh my god. Tell me how this is gonna be easier. Wow. After everything we just everything, talked about. Every, I mean, every aspect of my life is gonna be so much easier now. I feel like I'm in a dream, somebody pitched me. <laughs> I wanna thank everyone for doing this for me and my mom and my brother. It's, it, oh, it's really a life changer. Shauna graduates, by the way, in May and looks forward to now mentoring other mothers. Such a neat story. And many thanks to Helping Hands and also the good folks at NARPRO for inviting Arizona's Family Surprise God to, uh, to join them and giving this Absolutely. wonderful and just amazing gift. And incredible. We love seeing those reactions. Remember, folks, it is Feel Good Friday. Back to our top story right now at 10. A scare tonight for 160 people on board a plane that had to make a surprise landing at Sky Harbor tonight. Yeah, the plane was diverted to Phoenix for a mechanical issue, but it is now preparing to take off again right now. We are tracking the flight's journey in real Let's hear it. ABC News. Good night. Survey says Celebrity Family Feud.
Celebrate 75 years of endless adventure today at the Jeep. Good evening again, everyone. A West Phoenix neighborhood remains on edge tonight following a string of shootings that has killed five people, including a young girl. And police believe all of these shootings are related. Curiously, though, police do not think the victims knew each other or are aren't as safe as you think they are. A woman behind bars accused of drinking, taking meds, and then going the wrong way on an Arizona highway. Job opportunities. Supermarket sweep. Thanks for joining us up first tonight. Breaking news, the hunt is on tonight for a person of interest in a shooting near Lake Pleasant. Police tell 12 News the gunman, who's in his late teens or early 20s, opened fire targeting a man. We do know that one suspect is in custody, but the other... For dozens of passengers on this Delta plane, their L.A. flight bound for New York, forced to make an emergency landing at Sky Harbor. ABC 15 with the exclusive video. We're told the issues with the landing gear. Thankfully, everyone's going to be okay, but those passengers still waiting to get back into air. As you can see from this flight aware map, they were already north of Flagstaff when the pilot made a beeline for Phoenix. CPR in the middle of the desert to try to save a man shot near Lake Pleasant as he fights for his life and arrest made tonight. ABC 15's Noe Lana Graf is live on this one and no hey the search though is not over yet. Well, because Katie and Steve, there was a second person in the car, so police want to find them to help tie this whole story together. Meantime, we've got to talk about that shooting victim. Lucky to even have a shot at survival, thanks to first responders. You know, they had to bring him out to the chopper to take him out of there, but there was no helipad like we have here on top of the ABC 15 studios. They actually had to drive him out to... All right, Tricia, thanks. Right now, Phoenix police are on high alert in Maryville with five people dead and a to take back the community from the serial killer. Mike Upchurch with the Guardian Angels is hoping with their efforts, along with the community's help, the person responsible will soon be brought to justice. Serial killer, hey, you're a coward. You know, that's flat out, you're a coward. You're shooting innocent people. You killed a twin. Well, what kind of person is that? And John, from the June 12th shooting, the suspect is described as a Hispanic male between the ages of 30 to 35, and he was last seen, uh, said to be seen driving some sort of light-colored four-door car. Reporting live, Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Danielle. An update on the search for a gunman in Peoria. Now, police in this case say a young man was shot this afternoon during an armed robbery just off of State Route 74 in Morristown, northwest of the valley. The victim remains in critical condition. The suspect, also a juvenile, was taken into custody a few hours. Oh, the cause, a couch sitting right there in the center lanes. We watch car after car dodge it from our ADOT cameras. Fast forward a few minutes and cops finally cleared it out of there after safely bringing traffic to a halt. A dog left out in the heat. Cops say it's legal. Neighbors say they've had enough, claiming they've never seen this dog inside and their frustration reaching a boiling point tonight. Only Kim Tobin with this story from East Mesa. Sheriff's deputies have been out to this house before. They say technically the homeowner's not breaking any laws because this dog has food, shelter, and water, but it did not stop demonstrators from coming out here with signs today. Chained up, panting heavy, this dog has only a thin sheet of what looks like sheet metal to protect him from the sweltering sun. When we tried to talk to the woman inside the home, she had little to say. People are really upset about this. That's a group of current and former students who say ASU hasn't done enough to address. On the river, and it's way out of flood, and I think. View. Instead of letting the world see how uncaring she is, she'd rather try to cover him up. In a heartbeat, he would come home with me, and I would be fine and dandy with it. And his name, cut the chain.
forming a human chain of their own. They called for the dog to be released. The chanting was met only by silence. A couple hours later, cheers erupted as sheriff's deputies and the owner loosened the chain and led the pup away. Worst day of training since last year. Continue to check on this dog. Now back to you. A Phoenix woman facing charges after a state trooper had to use his patrol vehicle to stop her from driving in the wrong direction on State Route 87 near Fountain Hills. But new tonight, Barbara McLaughlin's nephew is fighting to clear her name after he says they've gotten hate mail online. Well, if people want to know why she looks like that being 46 years old, she does have serious medical issues. And again, she is dying slowly. The cop was right for what he did. My aunt was wrong. Both of them involved women. On the left of your screen, the most recent, a woman caught driving a gray Ford Escape with her door open going the wrong way down I-10 this morning. The 53 year old was headed from Tucson to Phoenix. At one point, she actually ran over an officer's foot. It took nearly five hours before DPS could finally force her out of the SUV. And then on the right side of your screen, the aftermath of a crash on the Beeline Highway north of Fountain Hills. This was after a trooper purposely slammed into the driver not once but twice in order to get her to stop. It happened yesterday afternoon. The trooper was released from the hospital. back up and running for summer and all that demand. By early morning, followed by wild celebrations, and then an hour later... We caught up with the Arizona Senator after tonight's event, and he talked about what he sees as the cause of this historic event. Well, I think it's going to have serious consequences, but it's also indicative of a lot of the things that are going on in Europe, the rise of far-right uh, uh, parties in European countries, the, the whole refugee problem that is... Uh that the UK is leaving the EU for in-depth insight into this very complicated divorce process. You can log on to our 3TV News app. We have several articles addressing that very question. One We're still smoldering tonight after a devastating and deadly... Treat the wells in question to bring the chemical levels within... and get its act together, we'll probably be bumping those numbers up too. In the meantime, even before storm chances, we are at a moderate threat for blowing dust. All right, so we're going to trade the heat for a little more humidity. Thanks, Crystal. Well, new developments tonight on the Cedar Fire. Pre-evacuation notices. One, and now the team's ready to skate out of town, but they won't be going far. We'll explain. But up next, a Valley Bucker's life ends tragically during a robbery. But six so far this year, more than 60 cases reported last year. You can protect yourself with good hygiene. Shower before and after swimming and avoid the pool altogether if you're sick. Why? That's the question tonight after a mother shows up to her son's Phoenix home just in time to hear the final gunshot of a murder and a suicide. All this happening near 10th Street and Indian School. Her 30-year-old son, his 32-year-old wife, both found dead. And tonight, ABC 15 has the exclusive interview with a neighbor who says the couple seemed happy. Me personally, like for them to be arguing like in the yard or anything like that, no. I mean, she would confide in me and tell me, you know, like little problems here and there that they would have. But something that I would see where he was abusive towards her or her towards him, anything like that, I've never seen it.